Hey everyone, Bypass Blake here. Today's video is going to be all about the gastric sleeve surgery. I will explain how it works, how much weight you can expect to lose from it, and what time frame, and also discuss the recovery time from surgery. You don't want to miss this, so stick around. The gastric sleeve surgery, also known as sleeve gastrectomy or vertical gastric sleeve. The gastric sleeve is the newer surgery of the group, but it has had some great success. It's typically performed laparoscopically, meaning inserting a lighted scope with a camera and other tools through five or six small incisions in your abdomen to perform the surgery. The surgery removes approximately 80% of the stomach to create a long, narrow sleeve that is similar to the shape of a banana as your new stomach. The new stomach holds about three ounces of food initially, which is the size equivalent of a hockey puck. It works by being food restrictive, meaning there's no malabsorption properties. It also changes the metabolism to reduce the hunger and changes in the bile and bacteria in your gut to help lose weight. It doesn't change the way the body processes food and nutrients. However, ghrelin, an appetite stimulating hormone that is made only in the stomach, which is mostly removed during surgery, is lessened which reduces the sensation of hunger and helps you eat less and lose weight. This surgery and also the bypass have also been shown to change the gut bacterial profile in the colon and also stomach bile changes from an abnormal, unhealthy fatty pattern to a leaner, lower weight pattern. All you need to know is this means positive changes in the gut, bacteria, and bile aids in helping to lose weight. The gastric sleeve surgery is not reversible in the surgical sense because most of your stomach is removed. However, it is possible to stretch your sleeve pouch stomach over a period of time to a close to normal stomach size, and one could argue that it is similar to a reversal. The sleeve can be revised to a bypass and is actually not all that uncommon. People typically have a revision surgery from a gastric sleeve to a gastric bypass due to severe acid reflux, which is heartburn, or a failure to keep the weight off long-term. Side note, it's important to mention that most health insurance plans in the United States only cover one weight loss surgery per lifetime, so most revisions or second weight loss surgeries are not covered by most health insurance agencies. That's something to think about or to call your health insurance agency and ask. So the gastric sleeve surgery is typically better for people who have previous abdominal surgeries, such as intestinal removal or severe intestinal scar tissue, where it would make gastric bypass harder or almost impossible to do. The sleeve is also more beneficial for people who are cigarette smokers because smoking causes ulcers, having a history of severe ulcers, or people who need to take aspirin daily for heart conditions because aspirin causes ulcers. Ulcers are bad for gastric bypass, but less of an issue for people with a sleeve. A surgery takes about one to two hours to complete under general anesthesia. The weight loss of the sleeve is about 60% to 70% of the excess weight in a two year period. As far as recovery from gastric sleeve surgery, is surgeon specific, but typically people stay one or two nights in the hospital. Usually you can go back to work 10 days to two weeks after surgery, assuming you won't be doing any heavy lifting. Typically, you will have lifting restrictions, more than 20 to 30 pounds, and you can't do push-pull motions such as vacuuming for the first four to six weeks after surgery. Heavy lifting or pushing heavy loads should also be restricted for three months after surgery. After surgery, typically week one and two will be a liquid-only diet. Over the next three weeks, you will progress to a pureed food and soft food. After two months post-surgery, you will be able to eat regular food. I hope you learned something from this video and will be more informed about the surgery so you can discuss it with your doctor or surgeon to make a better decision on which weight loss surgery is right for you. Check out my other videos to learn more about the other surgeries and also for advice, tips, and tricks for your weight loss surgery journey. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button, subscribe, share, comment, and as always, thanks for watching.